2000s, that's when motherhood comes in. Yeah. Best thing that ever happened to me. And for the first time I realized that I was not the center of my universe. I'm sure any of you who have children understand, who have extended family, feel like children. I can tell you didn't really understand that last song, Mother and Father. Probably ten of you know it. It's okay. It gives me great pleasure every night to see my mother's beautiful face on stage. It gives me great pleasure to see David's mother's beautiful face every night on stage. It's important for me to honor all of my children's mothers. Honor and respect them and raise them the best that I can for them. I'm thinking about my children because honestly, my children mean the world to me and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here right now. I'm so proud of them. David, Mercy, Stella, and Esther, thank you, you beautiful, talented, conscious, sometimes irritating children. You can laugh at that. Um, yeah, this summer I was extremely sick, and I had a very rare illness that only 4% of the people get. Of course, I, I was one of them. And I didn't know if I was going to make it. And when I came, when I became conscious, when I came out of my induced coma, I saw all of my children sitting around me. And that, to me, was everything. And, yeah, it was beautiful. They said the first word out of my mouth was no. Which you probably think means many things. I usually say no to them before I say yes to them. But that's the way my daddy raised me, so, you know, the apple don't fall far from the tree. If you can give me a convincing argument for why I should say yes, that's usually what I say to them. No, you cannot have Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> um, no, seriously, when I didn't know whether I was gonna be able to walk from my bedroom to the bathroom, and my manager was sitting on the floor crying and freaking out and wondering, and he'd never seen me. Weak, I guess. Um, although, God knows, I have hit it from him well through the years. Um, let's face it, I'm a human being, we're all humans, and we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. And I remember once, a long time ago, Elizabeth Taylor told me this years, years, years ago before she died. And she was, you know, she was a child star, and she endured all of the trauma of Hollywood and being a slave to that system. She said, never let them see you down. Then don't let them win. And that was some pretty fucking good advice. But I want to come full circle to my argument, or my, my, my point that I'm trying to make, and that is my children. If it weren't for my children, I would not have decided to go on tour. I said to my manager, when I couldn't walk without a nurse holding my hand, it was so humiliating. Um, I said, okay, I'll start rehearsals in two months. And I honestly didn't know if I would or I could or I had it in me or what was my future. But I thought of my children, and I thought about how hard they worked, and everything they did to make it this far, and I did not want to let them down, so I said yes. Yeah. And I didn't want to let you down. Because I know that many people here tonight 
tonight have been supporting me for the last four decades, and I have nothing but gratitude. Gratitude and appreciation. There's a lot of haters out there. There's a lot of people who want to drag me down. But I know, I'm not here to complain about that because I know that deep down inside they love me. But really I know, not even deep down inside, that all of you love me. And so, once again, I thank all of you. Sex for music. Sounds like a good trade to me. Anyway, he taught me how to play guitar. God bless him. Even though I'm so mad at him. But he taught me how to play guitar, and this next song is the first song I ever wrote on electric guitar. And the first night I ever performed it was on the Lower East Side in a shitty, smelly, stinky, woman-hating little bar called CBGB's. <laughs> 